hour in. Got a long day ahead. Great day. Great day ahead. Really excited. Making some strides here literally and figuratively. Hello everybody. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday. Happy Thursday. What's up? Getting in another one. I got arms later on here. Got to finish this. I think I'm going to do an hour and a half. Go make food, protein, pasta, and salad, and then i uh, got to go shave the head, get ready, and uh, do a big workout today, do some all my rehab stuff. I'm actually do rehab stuff right after this, knock that out. So, I'm doing very good, guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you guys for joining me from all over. Yeah, buddy, I said it. I will be wrestling again. I got two more stem cells, it looks like, in June. Looks like I'm going to be going to Columbia. A uh, company reached out. They want to help me. They're going to give me free treatment to help the big guy get back in the ring. And uh, very blessed and fortunate um, that that is happening. They're able to do more stem cells in other countries. The United States were very limited on the amount of stem cells that I actually need. And they have certain protocols they gotta follow here, which is why I've had to get so many treatments. These probably will be the last two that I need. And I feel really, really good right now. I'd like to get my shoulder a little stronger. And then when the time is right, right, and uh, I gotta figure out a situation with Sophie. And uh, I'll probably, the game plan will be I need to go work out in the ring a little bit. Uh, even though I've been out, I've only been out about eight months and I stay in shape, but I gotta get in burpee shape. And I'm always in ring shape, but I would like to just get in there and uh, just see how everything is. And I'll start taking some bookings and I'll probably start doing multiple shots on the weekends. And uh, I don't have a time frame yet on all this. I'm gonna get the procedures in June see how I feel, and uh, and then make my return eventually when the time is right. It'll probably be right around when I turn 38 in November. I'll be 38. I'll be better than I've been ever in my career. And uh, the Ryback regeneration will begin. So it's uh, been a long process. It's probably, it's not gonna be easy balancing everything with Feed Me More Nutrition and the podcast. But what I will be able to do is travel, kind of like Jericho does, and record my interviews on the road for when I'm not home. And uh, I will probably have to hire out and have a lot more help running Feed Me More Nutrition, especially at the rate we're starting to grow. All good problems to have. And uh, this is what I started doing this. I knew it was gonna get, the bigger you get, the more difficult things get too, in a way. So. But uh, it will happen eventually, guys. Just be patient, please. I, uh, I just got to be... I've made it this long. We're close. And uh, my back is really, really good. I'm out of pain in my back. First time in... Uh, I'm trying to think. <clears throat> probably five years that I have not had any back pain. Like at all. So <clears throat> I'm going to start doing more squats and deadlifts. Start pushing myself even harder. Very cautious not to go from zero to 100 on this. And uh, it will happen eventually. I never stop. Never let the negativity. I eat it. And I just keep doing my thing. From day one, I've spoken the truth, my truth. People either are going to hate you for being you or they're going to love you for being you. I'd rather be me than be fake and we're finding a lot of people 
that called me a liar, said I wasn't saying the truth on things, they're realizing they were wrong all along and that I've just been real from the very beginning. So I talk about good, I talk about bad, and that's all there is to it. They did it on purpose, guys. We've talked about it a million times, and it's okay. Everything I've learned was from all of that. But a lot of people don't want to acknowledge there was... uh, Arguably no bigger star in 2013, 2012. So the only difference between all that, guys, was me showing up to the building and a different outcome being told to me. And if that had been the case, we would have been at a level that probably can't even fathom. But it wasn't. It's over with. So that ability still exists. That energy still exists. That intensity still exists. And when I go back out there, I'll be able to tap in to those moments and raise my intensity to a whole time high, only like I could. So, and show some new moves. We'll see though. <clears throat> what's up, what's up guys, hello, hello. I just love working out in general. I love pushing myself and, and being healthy. Uh, 90 minutes of cardio today, got to go do the gym, do arms later, and I'm going to do some burpees for the first time today in a while. Probably just knock out 50 burpees later after my workout. Uh, These headphones, I don't, I think they're the M-Pal. They're not expensive. I got a pair of boys inside. They're, uh, they've been messing up. Those were really expensive. They're very nice. But they started, uh, the batteries started dying really quick on them. So these are about 40, 45 bucks. I use these on my podcast too, actually, because the sound quality is amazing. And they actually handle me sweating really good. Because usually it doesn't matter how expensive the headphones are. Typically for me, after about six or eight months, sometimes they can go to a year, they fall apart. So rather than pay four or five hundred dollars, I've learned my lesson because I did that quite a few times. And I just go with the MPAL. They're the best ones for your, for your dollar, I found. I like blue, yellow, and red. I love all colors, though. That's why I wrote about them in my book. That's why I always wore different color patterns as Ryback on TV. When I was a kid, I always liked wrestlers. When I was younger, the colors they would wear, I remember I loved Macho Man. I loved Crush. Because Crush always had really bright colors. Colors like red, yellow, orange, Hogan, red and yellow. High energy colors that when you combine them together is even more energetic. When you put energetic colors on an energetic person, that energy radiates out to the crowd. Kids don't even know why they like you. But it's all energy. So there's a lot more to it than just that. But that's kind of the, the basic philosophy behind it. Hello, hello. Thank you, guys. Turn around here. Any health and fitness questions? I like some Eminem songs. I think a lot of you need to listen to Stan. Especially the ones that send me 100 DMs. Ruin it for everyone. I can't even respond. Hello, hello. Curtis Axel is my favorite tag partner. Hello, Belgium. Thank you guys for stopping by. I got my finish at DCAs. Best thing to eat in the morning depends on the diet you're following. That's too broad of a question. I like to have usually a protein cookie and two scoops of my ISO hungry protein isolate in the morning when I get up now. It's kind of my current routine. Uh, 
any health and fitness questions, podcasts. We got our YouTube channel, guys. YouTube.com slash Feed Me More channel. We got we got a new guy running it, getting it all organized and together. We're finally going to grow this YouTube channel, which has been neglected tremendously. So you're going to see much better quality. We had some audio issues with the dog knocking out the audio cord this week, so we had to use still images. But they will be usually the video from the show going up on the clip. So if you could go and subscribe to that channel, we got some good content coming out on all that. I do P90X Ab Ripper X and a bunch of different, I do abs twice a week along with some other core exercises. It's just, uh, there's a million of them. Thing is pick a few, work on them for a bit, switch it up, find what you're comfortable with. There's a million different ways to strengthen your core though. Ryback TV, Larry, you know it. Ryback TV, suck it, bullet heads. Thank you guys. I'm glad you like Goldberg. I hope you enjoy his return in Saudi Arabia. I've met him one time. He came over to me and it was very nice. I will be back, guys, eventually, probably the end of the year, the way everything is lining up, possibly a little sooner. Thank you guys for stopping by. Hello, hello. <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure. I don't think I, I, that book sounds familiar. I just got another really good one. I'll look that up though. Extreme ownership. Thank you. I'm always looking for new stuff. I feel like I have read that. I got to go back and look. Well, hello, fabulous. Thank you for stopping by. Just answering some questions, talking talking to the great people out there while I do my cardio. I will not be entering any bodybuilding competitions. I'm not a fan of all that. Hello, hello. I think it's great skill. I'm not a fan of the promotions on all that, guys. Ah, Canada, trying to, there's, there's a few nice places up there. I do not have a wrestling school. I don't have any time for any of that. I will never, ever have a wrestling school, ever. I shouldn't say that. That's probably limiting myself. There might come a point where I've decided to open up a Feed Me More Bumps wrestling school. Just torture people, build a mod style. Sophie's doing very good, guys. Thank you. Her back, this is, she's doing awesome right now, so it makes me very happy. I'm on the elliptical machine. Guys, hello, hello. I always liked Shaquille O'Neal when I was younger. I always liked Kobe, Michael, all those guys. There's, there's a million great basketball players. I liked Larry Bird, Magic Johnson when I was really young. Cardio is best done whenever it fits into your schedule and your lifestyle. Thank you. I'm back over 290, getting in better and better shape here, so... Got a little bit of work to do. 
couple more stem cells and we'll get rocking and rolling again. I have seen Larry Wheels. Yes, he's very strong. Ah, DJ Armstrong. He was the three-pointer, wasn't he? Or am I, is that who, or am I thinking of, uh, who was the white guy on the Bulls? Fabulous. He was in NBA Jam, too. He was the three-point specialist. Guys, hello. Prolonged fasting, so I'm going to be doing a 72-hour fast eventually. Um, I'm trying to get my metabolism back up and firing because it slowed down from doing too much intermittent fasting. I think that stuff has a lot of health benefits. I think you could easily overdo it, though, and I think there's a lot of people out there pushing it. you got to make sure I, I require a lot of calories to keep my metabolism going with how active I am and how big I am. So it had a negative effect on me from my experience. And we're trying to fix that right now with my diet, eating more calories, more protein. I've always done well with a high protein diet, always. So it's trying to find that balance of what's best for looks and what's best for health. And I think doing like a 24 hour fast once a week has shown to have a lot of the same health benefits as intermittent fasting. And then doing a, a prolonged 48 to 72 hour fast three or four times a year can be extremely beneficial. Not even that much, I think. I think you can do it once or twice, I was reading, and get a lot of the benefits out of it. Thank you, Fabulous. You're just making my morning. <clears throat> hello, hello. You guys, we have a new episode of Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback. Fabulous, you will like the guest, Lauren Tickner. She is a business mentor. She actually had a couple books that she recommended on one of her shows that I just finished one of them called Oversubscribed Money. Oversubscribed, the book is money, I should say. And then there's another one I just got as well. But I think you'd like that, that interview, fabulous. The pain is very real in wrestling. It is entertainment though, guys, you know that. Thank you, Fabulous. Tell me what you think, please. Doing more business stuff on there, too. Trying to really broaden the guest up on the show. We have wrestling every week still, but interviews, interviews, interviews is what I am, what I am enjoying doing on the show. Hope you guys are enjoying the, uh, the podcast as well. Always, if you could leave your feedback with a positive review on iTunes, it's greatly appreciated. <coughs> Everybody, hello, hello. Zeus, hello, Zeus. Long time. All right, fabulous. Have a great day. Be safe. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Any health and fitness questions, life questions, guys? Hopefully you're using social media to be people, be people, to be good people. And motivate, enrich, and enable people. We have a choice every day. We can wake up and make people feel bad, which in turn will make ourselves feel bad, which will in turn make us keep doing that over and over again. Or we can say, hey, today I'm going to make three people feel really good and leave three really nice, genuine, authentic posts on people's pages, actually read what they say, digest what they say, and if I don't agree with it, I'm just gonna move on 
And if I do agree with it and I think I can contribute contribute to this post, I'm going to leave a genuine, authentic comment and make that person feel good. Because what happens when you do that is that person typically will see that and go, oh, that was really nice. You click on your page and leave a nice comment on something that they agree with on your thing. Does that always happen? No. But what you'll see is you'll see how much joy you could actually bring to people. And you will choose to do that because you will actually feel it. You will feel it. And you'll like that feeling so much more than you do leaving a negative comment or post. So guys, we have to train ourselves on this. There's no no book on how to act, but it's just like real life. In real life, you want to be social. You want to be liked. You want people to be nice to you. Social media is no different. So take the behavior that we would in real life and let's do it here. And then social media is awesome. And uh, hopefully we'll continue to learn and evolve as time goes on on here. But I have personally found that it makes using social media much more enjoyable. Hello, hello. Thank you guys for stopping by. You get rid of the carb cravings by quit eating a lot of high glycemic foods, a lot of sugar. Don't drink your calories, don't drink sodas. Eat a lot of green vegetables, salads. You can consume lots of that stuff and actually feel full. You gotta give your body a reset. You actually do need to do a fast, most likely doing a... What you've done is when you put sugar and all this stuff in your body, you're constantly, really releasing insulin is not a bad thing, but when you do it all the time, all these problems start, you start getting all these cravings. You gotta take control. Get mad. Like, fucking all these shitty businesses and people are selling you all this shit that's fucking up your body. Take it personal. Say, I'm done fucking feeling like this. Fuck these people. Because that's what's going on. And until people put that in their head, you have to get that anger then use it in a positive way and make changes in your diet. Don't look around and, oh, well, there's KFC and McDonald's. Those are my only options. You're choosing, though, to be, you're choosing those to be your options. Well, I get these cravings. Well, you let them give you those cravings. So eliminate it. Deal with the bullshit for a bit. Let your body reset and fucking get healthy. That's all there is to it. Literally, that's all there is to it. You got you to gotta, you gotta change this right here. It's all in your mindset, man. <clears throat> hello, hello. If you have gyno, it could be a genetic thing, most likely. You need to go to a doctor, and usually they will prescribe anti-estrogens, or you could do natural over-the-counter things like DIM, D-I-M, or Indol-3, Carbonol, or natural broccoli has those ingredients that naturally can help lower your uh, estrogen. You need to get your estrogen in con under control. So I would go to your doctor and see what your natural options are, if those are a choice. And if not, then an over-the-counter, I mean a prescription medication. And then eventually, if you need to have surgery to have it removed, that might be something that you might want to have do, be worth doing. So that helps with your confidence if it's something that's kind of weighing down on you. You can become a brand supporter by going on feedmemore.com and signing up for our affiliate program. We have actually, we're redoing the site further, cleaning it up, making everything much more clean, easy to understand, help people learn about what they're purchasing. It's been a learning process for me and being busy and getting pulled in a lot of different directions. We've had, I think I've had four different web people since I've started. I'm learning a lot, a lot with this and I've had to do four restarts essentially. We finally, we got a great guy who uh, has helped DDP tremendously with his stuff, and uh, he's helping me tremendously now. So, But you can go to the website and sign up for the affiliate program on that, and sign up to be a brand supporter, 
follow the instructions, you get 25% of every sale. So if you guys literally, we paid on the 1st and 15th cash through PayPal, every sale that you get through your link, so if you, if you sell $100 worth of supplements on one order, $25 you're getting via PayPal. It's a great deal. It's the highest affiliate rate that I've seen for a supplement company. Hello, hello. All right, guys. I'm going to knock this out. i got to hurry, finish up here, go eat. Thank you guys for stopping by. Be good human beings. Remember, make three people feel good again today. <clears throat> Check out Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback on iTunes and Google Play. And Feed Me More Nutrition on Amazon and FeedMeMore.com. Love you guys very much. Thank you, thank you. And I will see you tomorrow.